Welcome to the Sport of Business series. In these videos, we're going to give you some tips for career success by looking at the intersection of coaching or athletic leadership and business or workplace leadership. The common link between sports and business is communication. Your job as a coach is to motivate them that there is a greater good beyond money, beyond fame. Every workplace I have seen, Mike, in the last 27 years of coaching is a soap opera. One day does not define your career. Most people work like they're saving their smiles for retirement. <laughs> they're putting them in an IRA someplace. Isn't that true? And you would never think anything ever scared this guy. Yep. He looked tough. But one thing sure did, and that was talking to people like you, talking yep. to reporters. The average emotional age in the workplace is only 13 years old. Being able to, to see that the other side of that and say, tomorrow we're going to work together again. The average corporate executive, Mike, studies have found is about 300 hours behind at any given point in time. And if you are a perfectionist, counterintuitive again, you will succeed less. Forgiveness is a power tool. Yep. If you're flying from New York to Los Angeles and you're off by just three degrees, you end up in Beijing. It's the old line. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. <laughs> the word but has been called the great eraser. It erases 80% of everything you said before. And we all think we can hit the light switch, and we can't. But you know what we call these people, Mike, that are tough on the outside, tender on the inside? We call them marshmallows surrounded by barbed wire. A recent survey, Mike, showed that 65% of American workers are unhappy at work. There's a difference between being uh, between pain and injury. Mm -hmm. Pain goes away, injury stays with so We live in a world of change masters of other people's blind spots, Mike. 97% of executives think that they are in the top 10% of all executives. One of the first scariest clients I had was huge guy, tough guy, who looked like a walking heart attack waiting to happen. You just keep pushing the buttons that have worked in the past and nothing's happening. What the great coaches do is they present it to their team when they're not supposed to win is this unbelievable opportunity. People need five positive indicators to every one negative indicator to think that you're just at status quo with them. That imposter complex is so real and you gotta find that one person that tells you exactly who you are. Blanking out is connected with the entire short-term memory in your brain cracking open like an egg and dumping out. Let me get this straight. You've been practicing for six straight weeks. That's all you've been doing. That's all you've been doing. And I'm seeing this out there. What were you practicing for the last six weeks? State the goals. You'd be amazed at how often people don't state what they want. But describing culture is so hard because it's like a fish describing water. If you think about all day, every day, yep. how many contacts you have for most people. Yep. Now think about that. That's an impression every time. Now do the multiples on that. He hmm? said most football players are temperamental. <laughs> yep. And that means that's 90% temper and 10% mental. Finding greatness is defined when you get to the 20 yard line. Mm -hmm. And how do you execute in the red zone? That's why having presence under pressure is crucial. It's also why we wrote a book at Change Masters after 20 years of coaching leaders called Seeing Yourself as Others Do, Authentic Executive Presence at Any Stage of Your Career. FEAR is really an acronym. F-E-A-R, standing for False Evidence Appearing Real. He said things seem impossible until they are done. 